uh, innovation is critical to the mining industry. Um, it's also been a key driver of Minarch's growth over the last 25 years of being in business. Uh, 11 of those are in South Africa. Um, there's really two ways that you can innovate in the industry. It's either going to be uh, client-led, so a customer comes to you with a problem, or it's going to be something that you then invent or design yourself and then take that to the market. Uh, from a Minarch perspective, we take both approaches. So we can be solve problems for the customer or we can also develop and use our engineers and our production team to create something from scratch. Uh, so at this year's Electra, so this is our sixth Electra as a business, uh, we're showcasing a heap of new products. So we now actually have two stands on show here. Previously we've had one. Uh, some of the new products that we're displaying is our new digital lamp room. So what that is, is a, um, a, a box effectively that miners can walk into at the start of their shift and they can collect all their PPE and it's going to be assigned to them and they know that it works, that it's calibrated, that it's going to be safe and then they can exit and get on with their shift and the mine operators themselves can know who took what, what conditions it's in and if it's lost or broken, who had it last and work out from there. So that's one thing. Uh, the other is uh, our uh, helmet, our uh, Vivair helmet that we've launched. So this is the first of its kind. It's a pu powered air purifying respirator or a, or a filtration helmet that can be used by all underground miners to ensure that dust, particulate, uh, harmful um, chemicals aren't actually inhaled by the miner during their shift um, while still allowing them to be working underground. Um, it has facility for a cap lamp, it has uh, modularity to it so if things break they can be easily replaced. So we've got um, the helmet on display. And then we've also got our wider Guardian portfolio. So this is our connected solution that sits underneath the things that we make. Um, so that can be everything from is my refuge chamber uh, working right through to where are people in the mine. Um, also things like gas levels, the environment. So in terms of allowing a mine to be more sustainable, um, you know, if you know what the air quality is like, you can optimise ventilation to that part of the mine. If you know where people are, it means you know they're safe quicker. Um, you can also use it to know, you know, are they in the right spot? Do they need to be in this part of the mine or, or that part of the mine? Which then can create efficiencies in terms of man hours. So driving the development of our products is um, the change in market demand. So it's no longer about just pulling as much tonnage out of the ground as possible. Um, clients uh, are publicly listed, they've set ESG targets. Uh, they need to look at ways to save energy. They need to look at ways of uh, reducing their carbon footprint. Uh, we have elements to the things that we make that allow a mine to do that, as well as being the safest possible environment. So um, I think, you know, if you look at risk management point, from a risk management point of view, um, mines want to be safe and provide a safe uh, space for their uh, workers to come to work and leave every day. And they also want to know that they're doing the right thing and the Minarch suite of products can do both of those. Uh, we have an innovation committee that um, doesn't stop, so we're always looking at what's next, what does the future hold. Uh, we've got uh, a range of different directions we can take. Um, we've even pivoted into things like biotechnology, so we have a, a product suite that can grow, you can grow plants in, or you can do experiments on plants, so we've diversified a little bit there. Um, so in terms of what it means for Minarch and, and mining, uh, we've got some new uh, sensors that we're going to be deploying. We've also got um, some new wearables that are coming as well, so just more technology on the worker so they can be safe. Um, and our engineers are always looking for what's next. You know, part of us being at Electro is so that I can go and have a look at what all the great innovations that are here out of the African market and potentially take that back to other markets that Minarch operates. So yeah, we're always open. Uh, it never stops for us, um, and that's been going for 25 years.